What's going on Tekken fans, it's Kelly, and I'm back again. Now you have to do me a favor if you are a Tekken and fighting game fan. You gotta hit the subscribe button for me. I always grind hard for you guys. The least you can do is click the button. But today we're going to be going over my thoughts in the current Tekken 8 roster. This is the official website. I want to know you guys' thoughts on the roster. Are you feeling it? Are you liking it? Do you think it's lazy or do you not? Let's jump into each character profile as we do this. So first we have Kazuya. You gotta have Kazuya. In my opinion, he is the main character of Tekken and forever always will be. Sorry, Jin fans. Next you have Jin. Of course, he's a staple. Um, Jin is pretty much the other main character of Tekken, if you will. Uh, and Tekken is one of those rare games where there's actually like, you know, two main characters. This is not like a Ryu and Ken situation where Ryu is clearly the main character. Then we have King. There hasn't been a Tekken without King so far, so you gotta bring the King back and he looks phenomenal and awesome in this game. Next is Jun. I actually really love this reveal because Jun was teased in Tekken Tag 2 and she hasn't been in an official mainline Tekken since Tekken 2 so you gotta have Mama Jun back and she's looking glorious and beautiful as always. Next you got Paul Phoenix with the new hairdo. Uh, a lot of people call him Karen Phoenix. It is what it is but he still got that powerful fist so I still don't want to see this man online. Next you got Bruce, I mean, martial law looking good. At first, I thought this was Forrest because he looked a little different, but it's martial. It's martial law. He's back in his full glory. Um, I like the new outfit. The pants is dope. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. You got to have martial law. Next, you got Jack 8 over here looking like an absolute wrecking machine, Titan. Um, I'm not a big fan of Jack, but clearly he has a proton cannon now as well from. Marvel vs. Capcom's Iron Man, so who knows what's going on with Jack. Then we have Lars. I've never been the biggest Lars fan, but I'm pretty sure his fans are happy. Um, yeah, I have not much to say on Lars. <laughs> then you have Nina. Nina is one of those staple characters as well. Um, the beautiful thing about Tekken 8 so far is that the old legacy characters feel like new characters. So you're not really missing out by, even though these are familiar faces, They've been changed like kind of so drastically, but not drastically <laughs> to the point where they feel fresh and they feel feel new. But here's hoping we see Anna. Then we have Zhao Yu. Zhao Yu's all growing up, man. She's grown up. We've watched this girl go from a little school girl to now she's looking over here like a grown woman and tossing dudes and tossing people. So Zhao Yu, it's nice to have her back. I wonder if we'll see Panda. Then you have newcomer Leroy. He was a DLC of Tekken 7. And you know what? He was a shoe in I knew Leroy would come back. He was way too popular. He's the black Ip Man. We knew he was coming back. This is not a shocker, but it's a welcome addition. Then you have Asuka. You always need Asuka in. Ever since Tekken 5, she has been a huge fan favorite. She's been a staple. Nothing much to say here. Then you have Lily. Same thing here. Lily and Asuka are a pair. I don't ever think you'll see one without seeing the other. That's just how it is these days now. Then you have Crazy Brian Fury. Since Tekken 3, this man has been on an absolute rampage. He's crazy. He's everybody's favorite android, whatever you want to call him. All I know is that he is crazy, and there is no Tekken without Brian Fury. Now, you must have Brian Fury. Next is Huarong. Now this guy has always given me trouble over the years. He's also a Tekken 3 OG. And honestly guys, this is my favorite variation of him. I think he looks phenomenal. I love he's went back. I did not like that eye patch mess at all. I hated it. I didn't like the whole motorcycle thing. I like the Taekwondo focused Huarong. This is what I like to see. And I might even main him because he's looking so awesome. Next we have Claudio. I don't really care about Claudio. I'm so sorry, Claudio fans. I don't care. Then we have the most recently introduced Azucena. She blew the internet up back in uh, early August at Evo. She's going to be everybody's favorite. She's going to be lovely. We already know. We already know. Coffee girl. Then we have an OG Raven coming back. He's an OG from Tekken 5. He looks great, even though I've never been a Raven fan. He looks great. Now guys, as you can see on the 
official site it clearly says more coming soon now I've been seeing a couple people saying this roster is weak no Anna no Bruce no label long um I understand and I recognize all those characters are missing but you know what guys we do have to watch, wait and watch how it all shakes out I know there's the weak roster out there that we really won't talk about <laughs> um, I don't want this video to get caught up by the Namco execs but I like the roster so far guys I, I give it honestly I give it about a 7.5 to 8 the way to make this roster better for me I mean what else do I need to say there's only one excellency and he's not in it yet so I don't know how you want me to rate this roster without having his excellence in here you know what I mean you gotta have my man so until Lee gets announced this roster is not this roster is not it when Lee gets announced this is a 10 out of 10 roster <laughs> but let me know guys who do you want to see in the in the comment section below I'm impressed with the roster so far but I do want to see I mean I would like to make it you know you got to have Yoshimitsu you got to have you know I think they should bring back Anna I think uh, you should bring back uh, Lei make it feel like Tekken if this is a celebration of Tekken we got to have all the Tekken originals of what made Tekken in here also I'm a little surprised by the lack of more newcomers hopefully Azucena is not the only newcomer we know of a few leaks but uh, we don't want to talk about that here let's just stay on what's officially revealed because we don't know the future we don't know how many characters this game will have but guys do me a favor hit the subscribe button this is a discussion video let me know all of your thoughts I respond to every comment you guys let me know how you feel about the Tekken 8 roster so far are you excited are you hyped for the game if not let me know but until then this is Cali I'll see y'all on the next one just hit the buttons man peace